Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is how I make my patriotic cookies and I'll be dedicating this video to the Boston Marathon people that are in the hospital and I wish you the very best. So what I'll be starting out with is two sticks of room temperature butter. to one and a half cups of confectionery sugar. And you want to mix this until it's smooth and fluffy looking. Making sure all the butter and sugar is mixed good. Give it a couple more twirls, and then I'll add my one egg that I have at room temperature. Make sure that's mixed in well. I'll add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. In a separate bowl, what I have is a sifter that I'm going to be sifting my three cups of flour in. All done. So a half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, I'll take my spoon here and just mix it in. So now I'll be adding it into my wet ingredients. I'll be adding it in a little at a time. Make sure to scrape your sides down too. I'll increase my mixer. For this next step, I'll be wearing some gloves because I'll be adding food coloring to my dough and I don't want to get my hands all different colors. So I'm going to separate this dough into thirds. Good. 
Okay, this first one I'm going to put in a couple drops of red food coloring. Mix it all in so that all the dough is red. The dough that I have in my mixing bowl, I'm going to leave white. And this one will be blue. Couple drops of blue. Mix it all in. Now for my next step, I have a piece of parchment paper. And I also have some red sugar crystals. I'm going to roll out the dough. Just keep rolling it back and forth long. Yeah. Just keep rolling your dough back and forth until you get like a long shape. Then I'll be sprinkling some sugar crystals on top. Rolling it again. Until all of this is coated with the red sugar crystals. Now I'll take my white and I'll be doing the same to this. Just roll it back and forth. And I'll be rolling this in the white sugar. Now I'll do my blue. And I have some blue crystal sugar. So 
So I'll be rolling this blue dough in the blue crystal sugar. Now I'm going to take the dough bring it together and fit it on my parchment paper because I'll be rolling it in my parchment paper and placing it in my fridge for, th for about three hours. Place a little bit more white sugar on top here. A little bit more red. And a little bit more blue. Now I'll take my parchment paper and just roll it up. I'll put saran wrap on it so I, both sides are covered. Now I can take off my gloves. And there you go for your patriotic cookies. So now I'll place it in my fridge, like I said, for three hours. It's been three hours, so now I'm going to take my cookies out of the fridge. I have my oven set at 350. On my baking sheet is I'll place the cookies on parchment paper. I'll unwrap the cookies that I took out of the fridge. Cut my dough in half, make it easier for me to cut the cookies. I'll place the cookies on my cutting board and I'm going to cut them about a half an inch. And you can see red, white, and blue. And it has the colored uh, sugar crystals on it. So now I'll place it on my baking sheet. I'll do four across. Be 
before I place these cookies in my oven, I want to place some more blue sugar crystals on the blue part. And I'm just tapping the bottle. I'll take my red sugar crystals and place it on the red. And then I'll sprinkle a little white sugar in the middle. And there are my red, white, and blue cookies. So now my oven's at 350. And it'll take anywhere between 8 to 10 minutes. And it may vary because of your oven. So just keep an eye on it. You just want it to get a little golden brown on the bottom. And they're really, really good. So now I'll start with my second bacon sheet. Line it with the parchment paper. And start cutting the cookies. These cookies are really easy to make. The only time consuming is leave it in your refrigerator for three hours because you want the dough to firm up. And just sprinkle the sugar on. They're really, really good. Look at how yummy they look. Looking good. It's time to take my cookies out of the oven. Look at how good that looks. It's now place this one in. I'll wait for these cookies to cool down before I take them out of here and put them on my plate. This is my family's favorite too on cookies. I guess everything I make is my family's favorite when you think about it. <laughs> Look at how easy they come off the sheet. And see, it's just a little light golden on the bottom. These cookies are really, really good.
And here's old Lexi following me again. Now she wants a cookie. No, I'm going to give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. Want one? They're really good. Mm -mm. And with the sugar on top? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. My red, white, and blue. Mm. These are so good. Mm -mm. Does Sexy Pants want a cookie? Does she want a cookie? Hmm? She's such a pretty girl. Mm-mm. Say hi to everybody, Lexi. Oh, I know you smell my cookie. You want a piece of cookie, huh? Say hello. Hello, I want a cookie. I want a red, white, and blue. You're such a pretty one. Yeah. So really try these cookies. I mean, they're really, really good and they're quick and easy to make, except for the three hours, like I said, that you have to wait to keep it in the refrigerator so that the dough firms up. Other than that, I mean, it's in and out with these cookies. And it's not much of a mess to clean up either. It's really quick on that too. So these cookies are for you, Boston, red, white, and blue. This cookie recipe, too, will make about 40 cookies. They're really good. Thanks so much for watching me make my red, white, and blue cookies. They're really, really good. Your family's going to love it. And my thoughts and prayers go out to all the people in Boston. God bless you. I love you.